Uh, there's a bit of uh, positive news. Take a look at page six. Homecoming of Australian Senator Ruth Nyeri. Do you remember her from 2017? She made headlines across the world. Lucy Gishui, who is the first Australian senator of African descent. Um, Australia has about 76 senators. Um, just like um, a few of our, I don't want to say local celebrities, but um, Eddie Gadegi, uh, who is an actor back in uh, Hollywood, was also here in Kenya for the holidays. And I can see um, Lucy as well has visited Kenya. She made the headlines, especially on social media last year, for being the very first African senator um, in Australia. And um, take a look at this, the first paragraph. The concept of professional politics may sound strange to Kenyans, but according to the Kenyan border Australian Senator Lucy Kishuhin, that is the norm in her country. Do you think we'd ever get to this point where as Kenyans, we're able to also elect people who are not um, of original descent right here in Kenya. Could we see um, Zungu? Could we see an Indian sitting in parliament, just as we see in other countries? The only places that this has happened, I think, is in the coast where we've had an Indian, mm -hmm. uh, you know, the, the Arab descent. We've mm -hmm. had uh, um, Meru, we've had the Indians uh, because the Indians settled there and they've done a lot of business. And we've seen this also in Kisumu. Mm -hmm. um, we also had, you know, after colonial, uh, some Indians becoming members of parliament and even ministers and even a chief justice in this country. Uh, there's a possibility that, that that can happen. Actually, Kisumu is now is Honorable Shaquille. We an Indian. Um, that can happen. But let me tell you, I am sometimes awed by the kind of, um, you know, uh, the type of Kenyans who go out there and run for offices and, and, and win those offices. We've seen a lady who was in UK, she became a mayor, mm -hmm. and there was an also, also an MP in UK, and um, now her in Australia. We've seen a uh, um, local representative in the United States of America. Kenyans are doing so well politically out there. But unfortunately, when they come back home, no recognition whatsoever. These are the, the type of people like Lucy that Kenyans need to make ambassadors. But they can't because here in Kenya what we know is what we say, the bribery, corruption. If you don't play by the rules, if you don't play the game, how are you going to get a seat? Oh, you need to know somebody within That's the, the parties to be able to get to do the nomination. And sometimes it is paid very dearly for you to get that ticket. And even after getting that ticket, and now what we saw in the last general election, IBC will also make sure that they remove your name and put it back, remove your name and put it back. Right. That ping pong game, mm -hmm. it is just practically impossible for fine politicians mm -hmm. who find themselves into uh, the political circle in this country. The, the, the arena for the political uh, opportunity in this country has become so much Machia and so muddy, it's become so corrupt uh, to a point where a refined person like Lucy, that just goes out. I've lived abroad, and one of the things that I've realized is abroad, we, we don't need this crowd that sometimes you see in Jacaranda and all those other places. No, it's town hall, it's issues. You, you're addressing issues that are within your community, issues that, and how you want to solve those issues. That's how you'll be elected. Not, not lining up people and giving them 50 bob and 20 right. bob, and if you don't give them, they tell you we'll never make it. No, absolutely, it is your issue. In fact, the money raised for campaign are supposed to be for TV advert mm -hmm. and for your traveling and those other things, but not to give people money. If, if you're found, you'll be arrested and you'll never and run again. And the integrity that we need in our nation that will allow anyone to become president tomorrow, not Definitely. based on tribe, not based on your last name, but based on integrity and what you are uh, willing to bring to the table. As it is today, Zinze, I don't think this government is ready. I don't think our country is ready for that. We will have to take very stern laws, and not just laws. By the way, we have all the laws in place. It's just the implementation issue. Um, and, um, um, electoral body, uh, IEBC, is very clear on the bribes. Mm -hmm. And what you need to do, uh, you know, if, if you found somebody bribing somebody else, and, and all they've done in the last is they will put you through a panel and you'll be fined, um, you know, 100,000 or 500,000 and you go your way. Well, you're not supposed to be allowed even to continue once you've been found to be bribing. And when these things are implemented, maybe we can have some sanity in our political class. Right. Otherwise, we'll still continue killing people so that we can get that ticket, we'll continue bribing, we'll continue doing everything possible to get to that ticket. Michael, just before we